What's up everyone internet? Thank you for making this video party. I'm so excited to upload this one for you guys because for this video we're going to take a look at a small little horror film that reignited our fear of clowns and that will be it. Just so you know we're going to be talking about the 2017 film rather than the 90s special because for me the film was actually one of my very first modern horror films. I'm going to be honest with you I didn't see this film in theaters. I actually wait for it to come on rental because for me I really don't like watching horror films in theaters because of the overall setting. It's pitch black. The sound is at full blast which makes the jump scares even more scary and and because I'm watching a horror film for the first time at a theater, I don't know when the jump scares are going to happen. So basically, I'm going to be jumping out of my seat screaming like a maniac or like it's bloody murder. I mean, I used to do reaction videos to horror film trailers just for your entertainment. And if you guys have seen those videos, you'll know that I get scared pretty easily. Anyway, it was released in 2017 after the film came out in theaters and after it came out in rental. And after I watched enough YouTube videos to know when the jump scares were going to happen, I finally gave the movie a shot. And by the end of it, I actually really liked it. And the way the movie opens up, it's so peaceful. It's so subtle. When you're watching little Georgie run in the rain chasing his boat before it goes down our drain and then all of a sudden he hears his name hey that rhymed and as georgie approaches the drain he sees pennywise the clown sitting there just looking at him all like oh yeah georgie what a nice boat do you want it back nope 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 Seriously, if I saw this in a the theater, I would have gotten up and ran out as fast as I can. But anyway, Georgie ignores the danger and as he reaches out to get his boat back from his clown, his arm gets ripped off and then we see blood just squirting out of his socket. And watching this little boy crawling on the floor away from the sewer, trying to get away, crying for help, before seeing this clown head slowly reach out and then pulling him back into the drain. Oh my god, watching that, even from a cell phone video and then watching it in my own home, I was like, holy crap, that is the most graphic thing I ever saw in a horror film. Fun fact, before I watched the film, I actually watched the making of the film just so I can psych myself up for what I was about to watch, and apparently, that opening scene was the last thing the filmmaker shot for the entire movie. So throughout the movie, we follow a group of kids who are getting constantly scared by this clown, but it's because of this common fear that they form a tight friendship with one another. And I can see why people saw this as a coming of age story, because when we're kids, we're afraid of a lot of things, and it's when we start to overcome our worst fears, that's when we take one step closer into becoming adults. With that being said though, this film still scared the crap out of me. Even though I watched all the YouTube videos about all the jump scares, and even though I knew what the movie was about, I still watched it during the day. If I watch this movie at night, I'm running to my room as soon as the light turns off. But after watching it for about four or five times on TV, I realized that it's not that scary. And because the movie focuses more on the kids rather than the clown, you do get a lot of lighthearted moments that help you calm down from all the jump scares the movie throws at you. And that helps balance out the movie because for every jump scare we get, we normally follow up with something lighthearted to where it helps us relax and get a few laughs. So overall, I really enjoy it because it's one of those new horror films that I really enjoy watching and I can handle as long as I don't watch it at night. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video, guys. That was my overall view for it. If you like what you saw, click the subscribe button so you can get the latest updates from this channel. I'll see you next time in a brand new video. Bye-bye.